Hello viewers, I'm about to read book, books, night news in my homework book. Let's go. Get to move on Kevin, or by the time you deliver those papers, there will be old news. Just leaving now, Mr. Bates. I threw the last of my morning newspapers in my sat satchel and scurry out of the back of Bates general store. Elvis is waiting for me in the lane. He races to the end of the street and moves me to hurry along. My dad named Ev Elvis after his favorite singer, Elvis Presley. Whenever dad and I visit the milk bar, we always play Elvis songs the juke box. I pull my bicycle away from the shop and begin my paper run. I have only just taken up delivering the morning papers. El Elvis really likes it. He gets to sniff his way around the neighborhood. My suburb, Wacho Grove, is fairly new. Most of the houses look the same apart from different plants in the garden or the letterbox. The fibro houses sit ne neatly in rows of big flat blocks. Wattle Grove is a very friendly place to live and almost everyone knows each other. Elvis races ahead sniffing every letterbox and the Occasional, occasional plant. I practice my javelin throw by hurling the morning paper into front yards. Yards. I have never heard of javelin until I saw on the television when the Melbourne Olympics were on. My mom and dad took my older brother Robert and me into the city and we saw a television in the shop window. That was the first time Robert and I ever saw one. The picture was black and white and a bit grainy. Sometimes it even rolled around a bit, but we didn't, we couldn't take off our eyes off that magic box. We begged to dad to buy one. He just laughed and told us to keep dreaming. They were so expensive. I waved to Mr. Corvini as he waters his tomatoes plants. Mr. Corvini moved here from Italy. He makes the best pasta sauce. Whenever he makes a new batch of a new batch, he always gives mom a few jars. You know, use any other sauce. On, once you try mine, he likes to say proudly, and he's right. There's a lot of people in my suburb from different countries, Poland, Germany. Hungary, England, and Italy. Most moved to Australia after the war. My neighbor, Mrs. Dodd Unkiski, is from Poland. Whenever I complain about the cold in the winter, she laughs and at me and says, I don't want, I don't know what cold really is. Can you summarize the story? No. Why not? Because I don't want to. Okay. What, what are you next, okay? Oh, no. Yeah, what are you next? Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you.